Hey everyone, so today we're doing something a little bit different. These are the sparring glove mittens with the hourglass cuff and we'll be seeing how they work with a katana. So these sparring gloves have long been regarded as the standard for HEMA sparring, especially for two-handed weapons like longsword and Kriegsmesser. And they're a very hard shell protective glove for your hands. And Normally when we spar with shinai we use kote, but I've been noticing that they don't protect the fingers very well. And in my line of work, then fingers are very important, so I just wanted some hard shell protection, hence I got these sparring gloves. Now, hopefully in future we'll be looking to move to synthetic sparring or even steel sparring, so I think these will be fantastic when that time comes. Now these cost 330 AUD, uh, including shipping, there were some issues with shipping. It took about you know seven to eight weeks for them to come, but eventually they came here, they arrived on my doorstep, and so far they're pretty good. The inside is a little bit rough, so I'm wearing a boxing glove liner. Costs about $4 and makes them feel much, much better. So we'll see how they go using a katana and just doing some solo training. At the moment then, coronavirus has gone on a bit of a rampage in my state, so we're not meeting up in person. So sparring review will have to wait. Alrighty, so getting into position in midguard, it's not bad. Holding the sword in a handshake grip is quite doable, even with these quite rigid and firm gloves. And going through the stances, it's not too bad. The gloves do add some bulk, and that is a little bit uncomfortable compared to without having gloves, but it's not much more than cot hair. And going through all of the stances, you can see it's still quite doable. Now with these rising cuts then and the lower guards with the crossed hands, then it is a little bit uncomfortable. The wrist bulk makes it just not the most pleasant experience, but I think with some wearing in and just getting used to it, then it'll be fine. One-handed cuts are also fine. So going through the seven lines of attack, then they are all doable, um, but the last three fingers can't squeeze out that last bit of the cut. And if you're used to Asian swordsmanship, you'll know what I'm talking about. And so you see there's a lot more body oomph for these cuts because I'm trying to compensate to get the same feeling that I do when I have the push-pull motion and those last three fingers to squeeze. And so I'm adding a little bit more body mass and body rotation, especially with this horizontal cut to the right. There then it feels very, very awkward, but still doable. The rising cuts with the step through feel pretty good actually, they, they feel quite normal and I think that if I were to do them without the step through it would be a lot more uncomfortable, but with the step through it feels fine. So now going through some three cut combos, then downwards cut to rising cut to downwards cut feels fine, not bad. The transitions feel pretty smooth and I'm pretty happy with how they feel in that particular combo. Now going through to some flowing downwards cuts into each other. You know, this isn't Japanese, it's more Korean, and it feels fine. I think these are probably what the gloves are more used to, especially with longsword and hema. Now trying some stopping cuts where you stop and then you pull the sword back. Then here it's quite difficult because in that stop, then I don't have the push-pull motion and the dexterity of the last three fingers. So the stop takes a little bit more effort. Going into the step through and cut, the Jinjun Saljuk Se, then feels fine. The leap, quick pulls back and slice, not a problem. Going into the basic high guard block and counter, then that side is not bad. On the other side though, with the crossed hands, it's a little bit clunkier. As you can see, still doable. Edge alignments a little bit worse off. Trying some mid guard combo block uh, counter and stab then feels fine, feels great. Even with that crossed hand stab, it's not too bad. The bulk of it meant that I did knock off my glasses on that time, but quite doable. The mid guard into rising cut combo, also fine. The, the bulk adds some clunkiness, but doable. More three cut combos, you know, feels fine, even with the horizontal cuts. Overall, quite happy with these. So as you can see, then these work pretty well. You can do everything that you normally would with no gloves or with cot hair with them. It's just a little bit clunkier, they're a little bit bigger, and they haven't been broken in, so they're a lot stiffer. 
but everything really still works, still doable, and you know, hopefully inspiring. These will save my hands. So we'll see how they go inspiring when we next get to spa. So I hope you liked today's video. Sorry we had to delay the sparring review, but we'll get to that when we do. So with that, I'll see you next time.